Tina. And today's dish is going to be aki and tofu. Aki is a great staple food. It's very fulfilling and you can add tofu. You don't even have to add tofu in it, but I like it like that. I'm gonna show you how to make it. Let's talk about um, my outfit of the day. It is a one piece romper. Spring is around, right around the corner, guys. So I'm getting ready for that. This one piece is very breezy and I got it for about 15 bucks. Um, I don't know where but rompers are very in and it's very, it keeps you very cool. And I just pack, paired it up with um, some nice wedges. I love wedges, so you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Welcome back everyone to Love Afrovets Presents Cooking with Style. My name is Empress Gina. Today's dish will be ackee and tofu, guys. Ackee and tofu is a very simple dish, quick and easy. That's why I'm doing it for you guys because I want you to get in the habit of making good food at a fast pace. So I'm going to have, today I have my tofu. I have corn, my ingredients. I have sweet peas in there. I also have diced tomatoes, well chopped tomatoes, scallions, green peppers, and onions. Of course, I love onions. And of course, the main thing is ackee. Now ackee you can find at any Caribbean store or you can go to any Publix in your neighborhood, Kroger's, and go to the ethnic aisle. They should um, um, have that stuff. And this is what it looks like. There is diff different variations, but this is the main thing. I love um, Ocheria's Jamaican Aki. Even though I am Haitian, I still support the culture. Black power. <laughs> All right. The first thing I'm going to throw in there is going to be my corn. That is popping, guys. Corn and my sweet peas. Then I'm going to add my tofu. Again, this is very quick and easy. Before you know, it will be done. And I forgot to tell you about Morton's Nature Seasoning. This is the only seasoning that I found that doesn't have any MSG. It still gives you all the flavors. Y'all should really cut me a check for this because I love this. Um, <laughs> I love this seasoning. I'm going to sprinkle that right over. All right. I'm gonna stir it in. Shout out to Corn Mango who's always watching my videos. I didn't forget about the macaroni and cheese. I really didn't. I just need to figure out a way to make it vegan and make it taste really, really good so you will blow your mind. But I got you. Thank you so much for supporting me. I appreciate you. And then also guys, I wanna let you know that I'm having a book coming out called Confessions of a Black Vegetarian. It's just my journey, what I went through, um, eating this lifestyle, being black in this country, and people thinking I'm weird, oh my God, you're acting like another race, and I just talk about everything, because there's a lot of vegetarian and vegan cookbooks out there, and a lot of um, vegan stories, per se, but nobody ever talks about, like, you know, the process, or what they went through, or, you know, what's just what it's like, what it's like being uh, alienated from your friends and family, so that's what I talk about. So stay tuned for Confessions of a Black Vegetarian coming soon. Hopefully you support it. It's really good. Only because I wrote it. <laughs> so I'm having that. 2015 big thing. <laughs> Alright, so I'm done with um, putting the corn. It looks about right. So then I am going to add my ackee. Again, great staple food. It has salt in there, so you don't need to overkill with any salt or whatever. This is a great staple food, comes from Jamaica. I learned this from my husband. I know when we was growing up, my mom made ackee and salt fish and stuff like that because this Jamaican lady that she stayed right next to ate this stuff, so she brought it into our home, and I'm so I'm used to it, and it's really, really good. So people usually eat it with ackee and salt fish for breakfast, but I just put my own spin on it to make it good. Kind of look eggy, but I promise you, it tastes really good. And after, 
I am going to put my tomato sauce. I forgot to tell you guys. Tomato sauce. You kind of reduce the salt a little bit. You don't need to put the whole can. It just depends on how much people you're cooking for. So I'm stirring the pot, constantly stirring the pot. And next, I like to add my tomatoes, scallions, peppers, all that lasts because you know why? I still want to feel the nutrients in the food. I still want to have all the flavors. I still want to taste everything. I love vegetables. You don't want it to be overcooked and overkill, guys. So you pour that right in there. Continue to stir the pot. Look at my pot. I really feel like I'm back home, like on fan or something. I don't know. You see, look at all the colors. I have red, I have yellow, I have green. Colors of Ethiopia. Oh my God. <laughs> all right. And then I'm going to add my half a cup of water. I didn't really add the whole thing, so maybe a quarter of that. And that just gives you the sauce. And then I'm gonna go over the salt. The Nature Own Season have like black pepper, salt, garlic in here. Just a little bit. It's not red enough for me, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more tomato sauce. Just a pinch. You do whatever you want. If you want it more saucy, you can do that. I just like it to look a little red. Keep on stirring the pot as I go. It smells so good. I am going to lick the spoon. I am a fan of licking the spoon. I'm not cooking for like a restaurant, so I can do that. This is about to be off the chain. It's really good. And in my um in my diced tomatoes and um onions, I also have like a piece of scotch on it. If you don't know what scotch bonnet look like, let me show you. It's very hot, but that's why you only need a piece of it. I just ch chopped up a piece, and it, it's already overpowering my food, but it's not too bad where I can't eat it. It looks just like that, and with thyme in there. So I'm gonna cover this pot. I'm gonna put my um, stove on low, and then I'm gonna let it simmer for about 10 minutes. After that, we'll be back with our main dish. I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like. You see how quick and easy that was, guys? You're going to be so happy after you make this for your family and for yourself. Welcome back, everyone, to Love Afro Veg Presents Cooking with Style. My name is Empress Gina. Today, I cooked ackee and tofu. Like I said, it's a great staple food. I'm going to show you the final presentation. And of course, I'm going to taste it. So this is what it, this is what it looks like afterwards. You have the ackee and tofu right here. You see everything that we put inside the pot is mixed in really, really well. And of course, you can eat it with rice and peas. I have plantains, fried plantains. My husband really loves plantains. And also, I have my steamed cabbage and. Um, green beans and boiled food and yam green banana I'm eating good today I'm eating good today okay so let me try it guys of course I know what it's gonna be like it's gonna taste wonderful but you never know so I got a sample you know what I mean all right crunchy. I taste the onions. Very moist at the same time. Oh my god, it's really, 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 really good. Um, let me, one more time. I don't know if it's mm -mm dance worthy, but let me try. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did my own dance, guys. Thank you again 
for joining me for another episode of Love Apple Veg Presents Cooking with Style. Stay tuned for my book, Confessions of a Black Vegetarian. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Also, I have a website called loveapprovetch.com, daily blogs about vegan lifestyle, fashion, food, lifestyle, everything. Thank you so much. Once again, bow your heads down when you see us on set. I didn't see his royalty, don't you forget. Bow your heads down when you see us on set. I didn't see his royalty.